if you would like to see this video uncensored, then please check out my Patreon links in the description. Hey guys, it's your girl! Also, just beforehand, before I get into anything, please ignore this thing on my face. It is a temporary tattoo I have put on days ago. It will not fucking come off no matter how much I try, so please, just ignore it. But speaking of ignoring, you know what I haven't ignored? All of your fucking hentai suggestions. Since I've started this YouTube channel, I have been getting millions upon millions of comments, private messages, even just people in real life as well when they meet me, they're like, please, can you review this hentai? And I can guarantee you, a lot of times it is some of the most popular hentais that I'm sure most of you already know. Especially if you're into certain tags. And tags being that very funky little word we're gonna focus on for a moment here. You see, everybody has different tastes. Me, for sure. I mean, I, I mean, God's sakes, this whole channel, look at me. And a lot of times, I'm probably not gonna be wondering where you might think I am. So I decided to open up my heart a little bit more, maybe become a little bit more curious, even though curiosity has led me down roads I wish I could go back from. So I decided by looking on a certain website's top tags. And what do you know is up there, right up top with some of the most popular tags they have? MILF. And I thought, why am there? Okay, I am a MILF connoisseur. I mean, they're not too far off from Onesans, except, you know, the fact that Onesans didn't give birth but they kind of look the same. So I decided to look at the top 10 most popular hentai MILF manga on that website and give a little review to you all. I'll decide if it's worth it or not. Does it really deserve to be in that place? Is it worthy to being in the top 10 most popular MILF hentai mangas? Cause let me tell you, there are some out there that are top tier and that weren't on this list. Actually, all of them weren't on this list. And I had to get down to the bottom reason why. So instead of keep doing this intro, let's just get on with this because this is gonna be a very long video. I can feel it. I mean, I wrote down about five pages worth of notes and Jesus Christ, let us just begin. But before we continue, I would like to give thanks to today's sponsor, <gasps> Boxu. Boxu is a premium Japanese snack box that gets delivered monthly right to your door. They work with family businesses all across Japan and each month deliver a new authentic theme. And this month's theme is <laughs> birthday bests. By birthday's best, Boxu is celebrating its seventh birthday and including some of their most favorite snacks. Each box comes with its own pamphlet that tells you every snack inside of it, as well as any potential allergies. They also tell what part of Japan each snack comes from, and I am very excited to try one. The snack I'm going to try today is the Benny Madonna Mikan Gummy. Okay, let's see. Ta -da! Oh my god, that tastes so orangey, that's really good, oh my god. If you too would like your own Boxu box, then please check out the links in my description and use code SITSNAP15 for $15 off your first Boxu box. Thank you again to Boxu, and now back to the video. So the 10th most popular MILF anti manga that is available on this website is called Delivery MILF. It kind of has a Korean webtoon kind of look, especially when it comes to adult webtoons. So it's something that you you know you're going to be getting some at least good shit just from the looks alone. The story isn't all that complex as it's about a app where older women who are MILFs go to meet up with people who want to have sex with them. Sort of like that Claire website that I don't remember the whole name of, but I got it's just it's there. And the full entirety of the manga is essentially 100% point of view as we are welcoming in and meeting with a variety of different MILFs. A lot of the time, well actually the entire time, whomst we know. And what I find funny is that every single time that the MILFs come to his house to like have sex, every single time they're like, oh my God, I didn't know it was gonna be you, blah, blah. It's like, well, aren't you talking on an app? You know this guy, like, you know, they're like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. Either, either way, that, that's my, I might, plot holes. And I can definitely see how this became so popular and has ranked in the top 10. Because there are so many types of scenarios that happen within this hentai manga webtoon that, you know, it fulfills a lot of different niches. Even some that I never even thought of that are very creative, and I'm sure if I had a penis would sound very hot. One of which being that the first girl that he has relations with gives him a little, little, little suck monkey with a face mask on, you know, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know. And supposedly the texture is really great and it's just like the bee's knees. My God, he's loving it. Also at the end of the hentai series, the author also gives you every single page that he made, except without the text on it, which to me is very thoughtful if you are not in the mood to think with anything other than your dick. The story wasn't anything special, but I'm not, I'm not at Sundance, okay? I, we're, I'm looking at hentai here. Could people come here for a quick whack off and a wham bam, thank you milf ma'am. I will say it was quite nice that it was a little different in the fact that every single girl that came to his house was somebody he knew, be it his aunt, be it his friend's mom's. Honestly, 
it was a different, you know, it was different, it was nice. And I would almost say it's kind of like a breath of fresh air, but also it's kind of not. I just wasn't expecting it. I would say in the top 10, it definitely deserves to be there just for the art alone. Although the art isn't anything special, it is quite detailed, which is, it's nice. You know, it's what you're here for. Number nine. <laughs> Nine is a series called Famicom Family Control. It is actually a MILF series, which surprised me because I wasn't expecting a actual like chapter to be in the top 10. Usually when the top anything of popular hentais, it's a one shot. To see that there's actually more multiple storylines or story series, well, it, it was surprising. It's also the only one in this list that is like that. It just goes to show that some people really are invested in the story. But the story is one you have heard before. The story is a guy moves into his next door neighbor's house because his parents are working abroad and he needs somewhere to stay. His neighbors are two girls as well as a mother. It was quite beautiful by the way. His friend at school lends him a hypnotism book that he tries to use at home and what do you know, he accidentally hypnotizes the mom. He manipulates the mom's mind into thinking that it is hospitable to take care of him in every which way that he fancies. Now just do my laundry, cook my meals, just just maybe let me, let me put my penis in your ear a little bit. That didn't happen, that's just something that came off my head, but that, that along those lines. And honestly, it was kind of refreshing to see a hypnotism hentai manga where the girl wasn't just kind of sitting there with her eyes hazy and just kind of like moving, but not, you know, like emotionless. Like genuinely, it seemed like the kind of hypnosis where he kind of puts his hands in her mind not literally, and kind of just manipulates his, her way into thinking, shuts her head, and then that's just how she thinks. And it's also nice to see that the mom genuinely didn't like him or see him like that beforehand, and she was genuinely hypnotized into thinking that this is normal. Because there's so many, no, there's too many, and if, I would almost let me say, most hentai, all of the women in it just want the male lead so bad for no reason. The male lead looks like a fucking shoe and everybody and their neighbors, including his, wants to suck him off. Though this time, those neighbors are hypnotized, so that's the reason why. And honestly, it adds a little extra spice. And, and, there was a genuine sex ed lesson in this one. The lady literally teaches the male lead how to like get a woman all sauced up before and during the actions which is a lot better compared to when you see a a little hentai where the the male lead just sticks it in like she was just she's always pretty like she's always just prepped and ready no need to touch also it's nice to see when a male lead loses their v card and you know genuinely seems to enjoy and like it instead of just kind of having a blank face like mm, sex or a woman or a girl being deflowered. If I had to say, honestly, I think this one should be higher. I can see why, of course. I mean, I'm just saying it should be higher, why it's so popular. This one definitely deserves to be here. Love it, cannot get enough of it. Next is one I can almost guarantee you if you have looked at hentai websites, you have seen pictures of before. Because I see this art everywhere. And that is the hentai manga one-shot, The Cuckoo's Nest. It is made by Nakamura Regura, who is known for making very sultry kind of looking anime MILF women. And this one does not disappoint either. Every finite detail in the hentai scenes, every single small aspect of it is perfection! The spit, the blush, the tears! It's enough to make your mama cry for various reasons. Honestly, it is the art that makes it. Because the story is kinda eh. The story is literally Mahiru, a high school boy, gets a new stepmother who he doesn't really know because it used to be his father's colleague, but he never really introduced him to each other, his dad didn't. And then seemingly out of nowhere, while the dad is gone, she just starts pleasuring him. Just out of nowhere. Just goes right into his room and is like, hey, let me just, mm. She wants to satisfy him because to her, a satisfied family is a happy family. Which is weird, but you know, we're using anime logic here, so who am I to argue? The length is about 31 pages, which sets you up with a good bit of background and story and some good little saucy scenes to get yourself tied it over. The stepmom is also a yandere, kind of. I mean, it's in the tags. And the tag yandere is super popular right now, especially for women. I I've seen so much yandere hentai lately, oh my god. Which could also explain its ranking, even if the story isn't that good. But if that doesn't, the art, it's definitely, the art is just... Mm. Oh, mm -mm. as well as like how many yandere milfs can you name? You know, that's a rare thing to combine and I'm here for it. But yes, definitely if it wasn't for that aspect and the art, I do think this wouldn't be on the top 10. Do you think it deserves to be here? 
Yes, no, it's a hard answer. I would like to say yes, just because the art is just, I could, I'm eating that deliciousness up. Now for number seven, I almost feel like it was silly of me to have to give a warning that it's going to be controversial because I feel like the name is definitely gonna give it away. It's gonna have some pretty messed up themes, I think. It is essentially a doujinshi of Elder Scrolls. So the story is essentially a guy goes into Elder Scrolls. He keeps downloading a bunch of very uncomfortable mods just kind of begins yeah just assaulting a lot of people a lot of a lot of npcs that even while they're being assaulted just keep repeating like in-game dialogue so they don't really obviously note you know it's they're just kind of they're just there kind of reminds me of some mods for stardew valley but you know this is obviously this goes a step further has a lot of <sighs> interspecies shit. And the weird thing to me and why this even made it into the top 10 is the focus on this isn't even MILFs. I mean, there, there's a lot of MILFs stuff happening in there, but they are definitely not the main focus. The content in this made me extremely uncomfortable. A lot of what happened in it, I, I don't even want to go into details because you, it, YouTube will 100% not be happy. It is that much just not all right to talk about, even in very vague terms. And what really bothered me with this one especially is I came here to look at MILFs, okay? I didn't come here to look at horror sticks, you know? Like, I don't, you know, I don't... I, 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 and definitely, in my opinion, this should not be in the top 10 for best MILF hentai mangas. This is this just ain't it. Not really much more to say on that, really, because I didn't really want to go into much deep. There's not much I really can say much, you know, it's just not that great, in my opinion. Now, number six, King App. Now, this fucker is a long one, okay? It is a long ass story. But because it's so long, you definitely get a lot of details, so you will get your, uh, your time's worth kind of. The plot is a guy named Shuichi downloads an app called King's Game that allows him to control anybody that he wants to. Never heard of that before. And he first uses the app on his mom and then later his classmates' moms. So heartwarming. It's just family fun. This one definitely also was not my favorite. I don't know how that you know, this, this even made it into the top 10. Especially it's like there wasn't much very special about this hentai. I can see why people might like this a lot because there's a lot of MILFs, uh, a lot. So I feel like that might have something to do with it. But yeah, I just, I will still stand by the fact that I don't think it should be in the top 10 at all. Number five, and I'm gonna have to look at the, at the <laughs> computer screen for this because it's a long ass name. Sukube na musume no otoshikata dosukebe na obasan ga shikonde ageru. Now I'm just gonna jump right into the plot for this one. It is about a kid named Shuji who runs into his old childhood girlfriend. Not his girlfriend, but his like friend who was a girl. She invites him over to his house and they decide to get to talking. And she finds out that he's a virgin. And she's just like, ha ha ha. Wow, crazy, I've had sex before. I have a boyfriend who recently taught me how to have sex. Why don't I just take your cherry? And she does. She definitely, she just went, she just went at it, bro. Afterwards, Shuji asks her if she will become his girlfriend. And she's like, no, bitch, hook off. I have a boyfriend. And I, you know what? After I just fucked you, I'm gonna go and have sex with my boyfriend. Adios, amigos. However, ow, that was really loud. Midori, his friend's mom, Heard them going at it, and it's like, huh, maybe I'll take that meat for a spin. <laughs> That's an old joke, I'm funny, okay? She convinces Shuji to have sex with her under the guise that she is going to teach him how to make his daughter fall in love with him by making him super experienced. Via intercourse, that's what I mean. You know, she's experienced with that. <laughs> the art is really quite pretty, but the amount, the detail, the detail is what, it is the, it is the delicious bees and knees Jesus, please, sort of issue in my mind right now. Like for instance, the pubic hair. My Lord in heaven, the pubic hair! And I will not lie to you, truthfully, if I see a hentai where the pubic hair doesn't look like just a bunch of straight, drawn on lines, I am down to party, okay? I am sick of the slazy ass vehicular manslaughter that we call pubis hair. That's just not right. I need an afro on there that the likes of Bradio would be proud of. I wanna put my hands on the screen and feel like I'm twisting some fine gross thread and I got it with this bad boy. <laughs> of course it's not just the pubic hair but also the detail in the cooch as well as the veins on the pee. Everything is just 
It's just art, man. Also, I notice in hentai when women have that vacuum ass mouth, that hentai becomes really popular. You know what I mean? And I suppose it would if the mouth was literally bopping away at the penis like a fucking broken ceiling fan. Like she's clearly given the good suck and she shows it. There's like seven pages of her doing a single BJ and she's just moving, she's changing. She's got different positions of her mouth, different tongue, gymnastics going on there. It's, it's a lot. And that was just for the BJ. The detail inside of her mouth as well, Jesus on a cross, Christ. The inside of her cooch doesn't leave much to the imagination either in terms of science. And it's because of those reasons, I am not surprised that this hentai has done so well. It has a fairly unique storyline, very detailed in the ways that it should be. It's 65 pages and it's impossible not to be satisfied in some way, shape or another with how much stuff it has going on in it. Especially if you love MILFs, this is literally what you're signing up for. This definitely was one of the most purest epitomes of MILFhood that I have seen in this list so far. So I, 110%. Number four. Todokaze Orgasm. Now this is another long one with 213 pages featuring different sets of MILF stories. This is literally a MILF anthology, which is every MILF lover's wet dream. So come on, my dudes. Now, because there are multiple different sets of stories, I'm not going to go into detail of every single one of them because who has the time? But you get a certain level of MILF goodness that you don't see most elsewhere. Even though the first story wasn't technically a MILF, it was actually kind of this guy just runs into his aunt and his aunt and him just begin to canoodle. But it's quite exciting because they canoodle in areas where they don't want to be caught. So it's mostly outside and in very intimate areas and it's, it's it's very it's very it adds some sauce even if she isn't a milf she looks like it at least and it's not just that alone that makes you convinced that this deserves to be in the top 10 no because if that doesn't convince you this manga also has a variety of different body types that i just let me mm, 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 I love it. When you see fat rolls on a MILF, you know, you know that hentai is about to hit hard. And to add on top of that, the other stories are elves. Need I say more? I do? Okay, MILF elves. Elf milfy elf elves milfs. Milfy elves elf milfs. This one definitely deserves its place, and I would love to argue with anybody who feels otherwise. Number three, Akurui Kazoku Seikatsu. The story begins with our typical guy named Kazuma moving into a new house with his dad and coming to meet his new stepmother as well as his new stepsister. Right when he moves in, his stepsister just, just, she doesn't wait for a goddamn moment. She runs in and she just starts having sex with the guy. Because in the anime world, let's be honest, what's the point having a stepsister if they're just not going to have sex with you right away? I mean, this is, this is porn. I should just say the porn world, really. It's a guaranteed person who wants to have intimate relations with you, sire. Well, the mom overhears her stepson and her daughter doing it, and the next day goes up to Kazuma and is just like, mmm, oh, were you doing some sensual touching with my daughter? Well, that's, you know, you don't have much experience, right? Maybe I'll show you some experience. I'll just make you experienced. So what did they do next? They went to family therapy and worked out their more intimate issues in order to become a better family. No, motherfucker, they fucked. They had sex. And whilst they are having relations, the stepdaughter comes home and sees her mother having relations with her stepson, or in this case, the stepsister's stepbrother. It becomes like a whole NTR segment for a minute, okay? She's literally standing there in shock. They both see her there, like they both see her walk in and she's just like horrified because they keep going at it. And then as she turns to leave, her stepbrother's like, oh, but I haven't had, you know, sex with you today, so. Where are you going? Such romantic words. Why wouldn't she stay? She ended up joining in with her mother and the stepson. And then they start having a threesome and it is just a whole mess of things going on. For the plot in porn, once again, it isn't very original, but it almost was kind of refreshing how cliche it was. It is literally like every porn pop-up ad that comes your way storyline, except I see it in hentai mode. The art was also good, but not really as detailed or interesting as some of the previous ones, but you know, it, it did the job. Truthfully, I'm conflicted as to why this is placed so highly, as it didn't scream anything special to me. The only thing I can guess as to why it's so high is because the way the mother and the daughter looked, especially together. 
Not much more to say here other than to question why it's so highly because I don't even know if I'd even put this as number three and nonetheless put it in the top 10. Number two and a classic among men. It would be near impossible to have wandered the net and looked at lewd images or lewd stories or comics or manga and not have come across the cover of this series. Well, manga, hentai manga. Because it is a long ass manga story and it's kind of reminiscent of the cliche harem series from the early 2000s in the art and, you know, kind of in the story as well. But I can promise you there was no stories like this in the early 2000s, although it definitely appears like it, it did come from that time. This was actually made in 2017, so yeah. Now the plot is about a guy named Masato who is a virgin and is looking for work. He is found to be the only 100% pure human that's found on Earth because most of everybody, no, everybody else in world, not most of, has at least some percentage of succubus DNA. Due to the fact that for years and years and years, succubuses were, you know, philandering with humans and they kind of started creating mixed species. And somehow he's the only one in the world that has not a little lick of succubus DNA in him. Which is lucky for him because as we come to find out, 100% pure human DNA, aka semen, is the most nutritious and delicious substance a succubus could ask for. So Masato's new job? To supply succubuses with their new food supply. Now where do the MILFs come in? Good question, because there's a lot, a lot of partners, a lot of sexual different deviants happening in this series. And you're gonna read and keep reading, waiting for that MILF to come in, and I'm sorry, I'm telling you right now, it's she's not gonna come in the way you think she does, okay? Because there is a mother in this, but she ain't a MILF. She doesn't look like one anyway, okay? So in terms of this series being so high up in the MILF section, does it feel right? It feels wrong, this is not ideal for me. And I can see how this hentai series became so popular because the author of this series is really, 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 ridiculously super good at drawing those vacuum mouths. In fact, the mouths are probably the, one of the biggest selling points of this hentai series. They are so detailed, these mouths are. Jesus Christ, are they just, the tongue, you can almost see, you can see the texture on the tongue. And literally, you can see the girls inhale. And that's not an exaggerating, inhale the dick, which is a loved pastime in hentai, that's for sure. But in terms of MILF, mm -mm, I do disagree this being so high up. I do declare this should not be number two in terms of MILFs. No, sir. And now on to number one. Another title I'm going to have to look at the screen in order to say because it is so long. Hito Zukiai ga nigate na mibo jin no yuki onna san to noroi no yubi wa. Now for being number one, I am shocked that I have never seen any of the images of this hentai before in my entire life. For most of, if not all of the other previous ones, I've at least seen an image in memes or people just appreciating the art of it before, but this I've never seen in my life. This is entirely new to me. And it is completely colored and the art is super, super pretty, which is not very common that you see. There's a pretty in hentai and then there's a, like a typical pretty that you see usually in you know anime and stuff like that, but then it's just, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty. I don't know if I'm making sense here. The plot is essentially that the world coexists with fantasy creatures, or, you know, like, I should just say maybe, like, monster girls. Our main male lead owns an apartment complex where monster girls are allowed to stay, of course, and one day a Yuki Ona moves into the apartment complex. If you don't know what a Yuki Ona is, it essentially translates to the words snow woman. It comes from the folklore of a woman who doesn't age, and she is very, very cold, and she kind of marries a lot of men, but they usually die very young. Our main male lead sees her and is just bewitched by her. She is the most beautiful person that he has ever seen. So he begins helping her move her stuff into her new place. But after a few months of living there, the Yuki Ona doesn't actually pay her rent. So the landlord's kind of like, hey, where's my rent? And she just doesn't want to talk to him. I mean, why, you know, she's not paying rent. Unsure of what to do or how to handle the Yuki Ona, our main male lead ends up finding a ring that, <gasps> spoiler alert, ends up letting him control anybody. He initially uses it on the Yuki Ona in order to make her give him any money that she has. And then while doing that, also, you know, decides to kind of go further with it. But little did he know that our little Yuki Ona is quite the nympho and she's not going to let him get away. He's going to find out quite quickly why Yuki Ona's husbands always die quite young. Now you might be wondering, 
Well, okay, I didn't hear about any kids here, so how is she a MILF? Yeah, she's not a MILF. She even openly says near the beginning that she is unable to have children because her body is so cold. But the art! Oh my god, the art, the art, the art! It is so good! The art is so, so good! It is, oh my god! The coloring of the sex scenes, the eyes, the blush, the saliva, the boobs. My guys, the boobs, they have that sheer, that sheer glisten to it that you just, you love! She has that skin lip thing, you know, that thing where it's like, the, the skin's like, but it kind of looks like a fang, but it's like, ah, you know, she's moaning, but ah. My guys, the semen, the semen is shaded. So, 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 so pretty and so detailed. Oh my God. But the art aside, do I really think that this should be ranked number one? Not really. The number one ranked MILF hentai on the site isn't actually a MILF hentai. But man, Jesus Christ. The art alone, it just makes up for, it so just makes up for that one, that small fact, that small fact that I made a whole list about. Just forget it. Just, 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 focus, just focus on the nipple art. And yes, that was the top 10 most popular MILF hentai manga available on that website. I've made my taste known, and I found out quite a bit, actually. I found out that the most common tags in MILF hentai series is big breasts, comes as a surprise to no one, mind control, and incest. There was quite a lot of incest going on in a lot of these. I just didn't really want to go into detail about it. It's not my favorite. And in the end, I'm more surprised I didn't see the Aida Pochi type of MILF artwork. You know, the kind of sultry, big-breasted woman with her eyes constantly shut. And when you look at her, you could just hear that, Ada, Ada. Let me sing you a song of my people. Literally, all of these series to me should have, when I looked at the the moms, the MILFs, they should be singing a symphony of, Ada, 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 to me. This is not fair. This is not right. It's disgusting. And I think it should be a, there should be a law against it. This is not what I signed up for. And this is not appropriate in this time, place or century. But I suppose we all can't have good taste. Unfortunate. Either way, thank you guys for watching this video. I'd also like to give a shout out to all of my patrons. So let me just, I'll just sing a little song for you because, and I'll put the names on the screen. <clears throat> this is the song I made for you, my patrons. Patrons, 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 patron, patrons, 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 patron, patron, patrons. I love you. Oh. Either way, thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Bye.